Okay guys, hello and welcome back to the Summer Update 1.3 videos. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about billboards. And I just wanted to show you a billboard and something special I just noticed uh, while skipping through the update stuff. And we will definitely start with this one. So first of all, I just placed down this little coaster station I made for my our coaster series. And we will use that one to show you um, which possibilities we do have now. So first of all, let's um, start by just showing you the, yeah, it's four assets. I think four assets we need to, to keep a closer look at. So first of all, we do have the screens. We do have, as you can see, um, we have projection screen, which are the bigger ones, and we do have TV screens. The cool thing on the projection uh, projection wow, projection screens is that they don't have a border, so you can use them um, like really, for example, if I just now place them down and put them together, you can see they blend in perfectly without the border. If we now get into a screen, you can see it definitely has kind of border as a screen does have one, which is cool. I think that helps. But since uh, Frontier knows us very well and um, they changed something, I have noticed in their videos, but I'm so happy they did. Uh, because you can see now um, this one, so maybe maybe we do it a little bit different. So we have this big one. Let's let's do it with the 32 meter one. Oh no, actually let's do it with the eight meter one. Where's the eight meter one? There we go. Um, we have two different kinds. So we have this one, and we have this one. Actually, they look different. I explained this as well in the other video, but if you are just watching just this video, I'm just going quickly to explain this. And now if you just click on this one, you can drop down and choose the file of your wishes and um, we can just take now the missy good wide one and let's do this wait I just have to I just have to click OK um, so then we go over here take the same one and click OK so you can already see there is uh, you can already tell there's a difference which is the difference is a little bit more clear if we change to night mode so this one is lit this one is lit up, so it, it has a backlight. It's actually like a screen, okay? You can use that one as um, a screen. You can also make this little projector thing uh, in front of it so that it actually looks like as if it is projected, but you can also use it as an actual billboard, which isn't working um, in terms of light. It is working like a picture, but it's, you know, you, you would need to go into scenery and then grab yourself, wait a second. Um, get yourself some lights so most likely you would need those spots for example and just put them down here like this and this and this okay so that's pretty nice because um it offers you a little bit more freedom because you maybe you don't want to have uh, this entire area lit up look like how bright this is so you, you might just want to have it a little bit more subtle so for example if you use your own texture on it you maybe don't want to have it blown by the light all of the place okay Obviously, you can also put down your own images and this is why you can go in here and you see there is kind of an image You can just click on it and there is your custom image. I just Have to click ok for a second. There we go. That's it and um, It can be lit, but it can be also as you can see here Not lit and then you do light it up with your own lights. So this is pretty cool It offers you a little more freedom and if we go back to um, the daylight you can also see which I think is also pretty nice addition that this is really bright in terms of sunlight Because it's also casting the shadow on here and this one does cast the shadow way more subtle than the other one because it's lit It's amazing that they did think of this addition, but now it gets a little bit more Amazing I would say because of course we we have different sizes, you know, um, but we have another piece in the game now which is customizable in the way that you can use it as um, a, a billboard in a way but it is a there we go large customizable flag what is this so let's imagine you put this down here for example like this and we need to do it like this and now we wait we need to do it like there it would be kind of a little bit of a curtain right and this one is just black but you can just change it you can just put down whatever you want and you can also use your own stuff 
Isn't that amazing? So I could turn, put down like the head of my little, wait, why did I just, I have to click OK. There we go. You know, that's my little Rudy on top of it. And the coolest, coolest thing on it is, if we now just look at it, it moves in the wind. It swings. Okay, so what you can do then is, um, and I already checked if that's working, it is. You can put down a texture, like a, a wool texture or kind of a fabric texture in this time, uh, this way. And look at it. Look at it. It's just... It's just as if you have a curtain with a new texture on it and it perfectly fits into the game because the lighting and the 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 way how the texture is um, processed in the game just makes sure that our own stuff looks like as if it would be a part of this game. That's just amazing. Okay, and now as I saw this, as I saw this, I immediately reckoned that this kind of, you know, even the, the, the thing that it is is just moving you can also select the movie okay and there you see there's already something going on which I'm going to explain what I uh, it's just a little bit of a test so let's get back to image because um, I will just change the image to the fabric again so okay so now let's grab this one and now I'm going to show you something which is I think this is a game changer so you know, we can, okay, before we go on, I, I just show you something. We can move the terrain down a tiny little bit, put some water in to make kind of a little bit of a pond. So, actually, this is looking a little bit empty, isn't it? So, it would be nice to have at least a little bit of life going on in this. Wouldn't that be cool? So, what about doing actually a little bit of a fish pond? Um, it, Please, guys, this is just a little bit of a test. It's, it's you know, don't take this for, for a serious approach now because you would have definitely to make your own great textures for it. But, but let's just grab the non-lit screen and move this one now over and just slightly into the water until we have uh, maybe a little bit more to get the texture in. So, for example, like this. Wow, there we go. Okay, now select this one, go to movie, and now we will change and get the sauce one because I have got some fishies swimming around. And now, as uh, this is, maybe we can move this down even further. Let's see. Like this. Okay, so now you, you what you have to make sure then is um, to also... I mean, this is just, you know, really quickly done. I just have to, for example, uh, okay, I do, do not have uh, kind of sandy texture, but it doesn't matter. So like this. And then we would put place down some scenery to blend it in a little bit nicer than it actually does at the moment. So for example, let's get some nature stuff in. So, uh, wait, I just don't want to have that one to make it look like a little bit more nice and some some rocks in here and there like this and this and this maybe kind of a tree also going on over here and there so to have some shadows all, all over the place as well so there you go i mean okay it's it's just a little bit of a test okay but if you look from this angle you can already tell that you you can definitely see there is water going on maybe we have to move it up a slightly a little bit of course so you see it's pretty much working as if it was a pond. Like, it's it's crazy because it's just working as if we have got fishies swimming around. And this is also, you can just make whatever you want with those things. But now, the thing is, um, you can do it even better if you just take this one. Um, let's take this one now and uh, bring down this one also. I, I don't even know if we have to use the water then on top of it. But now you can also change to movie and go into the drop down and change this one to the sauce one. Actually, you see, I have I've chosen the smaller one now. It looks already a little bit better because you can tell those fishies are a little bit smaller. So if we just move this one slightly down and then copy it around. Of course, now it's, it's you know, the, the idea behind this. I think you, you got the idea behind this. But if we now move like this you can see um, that it would be also a little bit better because we have the slight movement 
of this uh, banner, you know? So if you want to make a small, a really small pond, or for example, if you, you can also make it like, um, we do have those water, wait, we, we don't do have those little ponds, don't we? So we could try to do it with those for a second. Um, let's see, oh, I think it's, is it called pond? No, it's not. Okay, we just have to get through it. So for example, first of all, props. Um, somewhere in here we do have those water things, fountain. I actually don't know how they're called, so fountain bowl. No, that's too small, but you could actually use this as well, guys. So it doesn't matter. So this one might not work, but actually... Okay, we could, sh we could try it with that one. So let's just select this one. Move it in, so like over here, just to until we just go underneath the level of water. Oh, we are actually not underneath the water. Um, there we go. Now we are underneath the water, and as I said, just blend it in with um, some rocks, just to you know cover it up. It's it's not that bad actually, but. Uh, maybe another one as well. Just to... You know, you could definitely do it way better than I did it right now, but... Just to give you the idea. Okay? So you have this little pond with fishy swimming in. Um, obviously, you, you would need to, to make the texture way better, as I said, but if you just look closely to it, it's even waving. Okay? It's actually water, even though it isn't. And if you look like this, there was water going on and I think that's a pretty nice idea to have like this little pond okay so if we maybe this is even the let's just make for a second my thumbnail out of it and I just want to have okay wait I have to change that one to a movie and uh, no not, not movie let's take the image and my Rudy okay there we go let's take my Rudy okay there we go Damn it. Okay, so that will be my thumbnail, I guess. Um, there we go. But that's not it, guys. I, I have so many ideas. But you can see it's already working somehow. We've got fishies swimming around all the place. It's looking like a little bit of a pond. And if we would now, like, kind of... The idea would be, okay? Ideally, you would do the following. You would, like, kind of take this little pond, make a photo out of it, okay? Just without all of these trees and so, because you need to have it really cleaned up. Um, and then you just add the fishies in, like have a few fishies, make them swim. Um, I, I think uh, GIF animations would work the best to just bring them in. Um, make some filters onto it. Of course, it's a little bit of work, but it, it definitely could work. And so you, you're gonna have this. It, it's just working. And then you can do as well, of course you can do something like, wait, something like that. Um, I'm just going to do this for a second. Uh, if my menu is... Okay, it's, it's working. Um, let's just grab the smallest one. That's the smallest one we have, okay? Um, and now, I just want to have this one. Move it over here. And turn it around as well. Uh, maybe like this, okay. So, then we are going to select a movie again. From my own choice, again, the Source movie, okay. And if we now go into building, because I think in building it will be a little bit more easy to explain what I'm going to do right now. Um, so we do need a custom, let's just try with that one. So wait, I just do it like this. And then we need a column over here. It's like really briefly done guys, so don't please don't judge it. It's it's just crap. But I think you get the idea. So like this. Okay, you know, you've got a little bit of a fish tank. Just basically it would be a fish tank. Just change the texture of it and that would be a fish tank. And with that one you could even use the lit up one and, and make it like a back lit um fish tank, which would be actually awesome I guess. Um, so let's just take this one and get the the entire thing to the next level because I mean um, I think the problem now will be that the textures I just quickly searched before this video will be pretty much crap for this idea but 
Um, I can definitely tell you that this will happen really, really quickly because I think there are so many people out there and I know they are stupidly crazy in a positive way uh, with their ideas. So let's quickly make a room. And so, okay, that, that should be the room. And now imagine we want to create an elevator, okay? So this room itself can't be an elevator, but what we can do now is we can go into the scenery tab and it, oh, it's taking ages. But it's because I'm rendering in the background, sorry. And then Frontier did something, what did they do? They did add a video wall panel 4x4 meters. Why would they do this if you have all of these already and uh, I think we are in the time living with uh, white screens, that would be totally fine. But why did they do this? Again, this is the lit one and the matte one, which is, uh, I, I, could, I, I love them for implementing that. So if we go in and use that one and we have then to place it exactly over here and now we go into movie and have this one and we actually need to click OK. Uh, wait, I just wanted to keep in here. Um, for the sake of this one, I just need to rotate that one. Um, rendering killed it really. Um, it's, by the way, it's really cool that it turns off when you want to rotate that one because it, it would be pretty much annoying if it's all flickering around the entire time. But then you just place it and you place it again and you place it again, okay? And then, why? Wait, why isn't it playing? Wait, what's going on with you? Okay, maybe let's just check this again, okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's moving as you can see, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not doing it too crazy right now because I just want to show you, but we now can place a sequencer down here for a second. I don't need it actually, but um, let's do the following now. So add display group and we call this group elevator. And we delay it already by six seconds. I guess that should be a good idea. And now connect our, and you can see, bam, we can connect all of those. We keep it at zero seconds, okay? So done. Um, and now, as you can see, it's turned off, okay? It's pretty much turned off. Um, as I would say, I mean there are a few possible ways to do it right now. But since you can activate those on triggers, it would be pretty much clever to make the video work like, you know, the video itself, it um, has to stop before, um, uh, well, it has to be on pause, let's, let's put it that way, before you can make play. But imagine you are getting, we have a door over here, the door opens and then you see the stopped video. And then after a few seconds, the video is just going to play. And I now hit play. And nothing really happened, but we have a... Why did this just happen? Okay, I think I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? And I don't want any music to be played. Thank you. Um, wait, maybe it's because of the video. I don't know if it is, but let's see what happens over here. Maybe it's just a bug. I, I think they will quickly fix it then, but I haven't tested that before, guys, uh, so please. Okay, it seems that this isn't working. So what happens if I... Okay, well, that's happening like this. But actually, I think you guys just got the idea, right? So um, we, we do have moving walls then, and the uh, moving walls would be activated as soon as you go into the room. So imagine you have a video which is automatically paused for like 10 seconds, and then you trigger this video before the door is opening. Then the door's opening, you just go into the room. Those are not moving in this moment, but then you just play a sound of like, um, how a elevator is going to, to be launched, like in this kind of, you know, and then those walls are going to move, like they, they go up and down and you know, and um, as you are done finished, go on, the door opens again. You could also change the entire look of this area by just using those walls and those kind of things um, with triggers, you know, you, you just could place 
different um, things and then let's just swap them also by putting in a video or so um, and then it's pretty simple because you you just have a few uh, videos going on and you have different rooms you can just totally change your rooms even though it's the same room how crazy is that I mean how crazy is this <sighs> Okay, what a cool update. I guess this is a game changer. I have so many more ideas. I, I just wanted to give you a, a tips and tricks um, idea of, of what you can do with this stuff. So please guys, start thinking out of the box. I mean like I didn't show you what the obvious things are. I mean like of course you can place down any any video you want. Damn, is he good, is he warning and that's it. You've got some music and stuff. You know, that's just pretty much what it is supposed to use like uh, is used for but you can use it for so many different ideas and and you can for example you can make like um how's it called on 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 uh, airports or so where you have this this kind of roll roll band whatever kind you can stand onto and it just automatically pushes you along the airport because the, the terminals are so wide spread out and then you just need to go from there to there and those those, those kind of rolling bands are getting you there. I think you you know what I'm talking about. I don't have the words for it right now. But this, guys, I mean, like, this is crazy. How good is this, please? You, you can use all of the stuff and, and make videos onto it. Your own stuff, your own textures. You can now build custom walls just with, with textures. You can make a photo of your most favorite texture, just add it a little bit so that it blends well together, and then you've got a texture, and you can make it even moving. We can, we can now have kind of movie sets, we can have, uh, oh, I don't know, you can make so many things. By the way, I just linked down in the description um, the post of Bo, um, where she explains how to use the billboards. Um, actually, I showed you, because you just have to click in here, and then your own folder in here has the things in. Of course, it, it separates between images and between movies, and then you can just use those um, as you like and those have to be plopped into uh, my documents frontier developments planet coaster user media the same goes for music but it's default user music that should be it and uh, yeah so hope to see you in the next one and hope this is a little bit helpful to give you guys a start to get great ideas about the billboards and screens and the animated unique flag what it no it's not the unique flag it's a customizable flag <sighs> anyways see you then guys and have fun with the update.